$1,700 gold and $19 silver. We have an after-tax NPD at a 5% discount of $1.4 billion, an after-tax IRR of 50%, a one-year payback. This is an extremely robust project because it's just so high grade for an open pit. Hello and welcome to the SATV. Today I'm pleased to be joined by Kelly Earle, Senior Vice President, Corporate Development at Skeena Resources Limited. So Skeena is a Canadian mining exploration company focused on revitalizing the past producing SK Creek mine in Talton Territory in the Golden Triangle of Northwest British Columbia, Canada. So Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. And so to set the scene, can you give us a bit of an introduction to Skeena? Tell us a about the company's focus and a bit of background on the management. Sure, so as you mentioned, we're revitalizing the past producing SK Creek mine, which is a gold silver mine that produced um, in the late 90s and early 2000s in, in Northern British Columbia. We're listed on the TSX and uh, the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, we're looking at having the mine back into production by the end of 2025. So we're busy uh, about to start our, our first build uh, next summer, our first summer of building. It'll be built over three seasons uh, in the summer months, um, in production the end of 2005, and we're gonna be busy with exploration drilling and until then. Uh, a bit about the management team. So Skeena as a company has been around for quite a long time, but the current management team really started to come into place about seven years ago when our current CEO, Walter Coles, took over. So the entire board and management and team are all new within the last uh, seven years. I won't go into everybody, um, but I will just point out our, our latest addition to our, our management team, our new president, Randy Reichert. He came to us from B2 Gold, where he was VP of Operations. We're extremely excited to have him on board because he's really going to be the driving horse between um, behind building the, the mine at SK Creek. Sounds great. So um, your flagship project is the SK Creek Revitalization Project. Can you explain a little bit about what you're doing with this? What's the history of the project and your development plans moving forward? Sure. So SK Creek is the former highest grade gold mine in the world, produced from 94 to 2008 at a staggering two and a half ounces gold equivalent per ton. And uh, it was an underground mine when it was in operation. And importantly, the cutting, the cu importantly, the cutoff grades were extremely high. So they went anywhere from 15 to 30 grams per ton. That meant anything below that was waste. It was a very remote mine at the time. It was all diesel powered. 50% of the operating expenses were diesel. And now we uh, fast forward, we have a lot of improvements in infrastructure. We have hydroelectric facilities nearby. So this means we can cut the, um, drop the cutoff grade dramatically. So what we have now is a 5.6 million ounce resource that converted to 4 million ounces of open pitable reserves at 4 grams per ton gold equivalent. So it's still going to be one of the highest mines in the world when it's back in production, but an open pit mine this time. You've recently re obtained positive results from your feasibility study for the SK Creek project. Um, can you share a few highlights? Of course. So at uh, $1,700 gold and $19 silver, we have an after-tax NPV at a 5% discount of $1.4 billion, an after-tax IRR of 50%, a one-year payback. This is an extremely robust project because it's just so high grade for an open pit. Our CapEx is sitting at $451 million US right now, and that gets you 350,000 gold equivalent ounces produced per year over a nine-year mine life. So again, extremely robust project. Amazing. And SK Creek is projected to be one of the lowest greenhouse gas emission open pit gold mines globally. Can you elaborate a little bit about how Skeena aims to achieve this? Sure. So as I mentioned, historically, it was all uh, diesel powered. So 50% of the OPEX historically was fuel, which is crazy to think. And we're now looking at about 5% of the OPEX being the energy costs. And the, the easiest way to do this is the uh, electrification of everything. So we are connecting to the grid, which is hydro powered. We have three hydroelectric facilities that were built off the original access road to SK Creek. So we're connecting to one that's only about 17 kilometers away. And that's what's helping us achieve such a low uh, carbon dioxide um, equivalent emissions per ounce of gold produced. Um, we also take uh, decarbonization very seriously at Skeena. We're a pretty young entrepreneurial team. We have a corporate innovations manager who helps us strategize on all things ESG. One of the things that we're also looking at doing is a rail conveyor system and also the electrification of all the haulage trucks. So we're trying to get creative and, and really be a benchmark for how mining companies could, uh, should operate moving forward. The company has recently closed a $34 million deal offering. What's next? 
Yeah, so uh, we raised that money specifically so we could buy back a half a percent royalty from Barrick. So Barrick had a 1% royalty on the project as a whole. They auctioned off a half a percent to another company who purchased it, and we had the option to buy back half a percent for $17.5 million. So a lot of that money went towards buying back um, that um, half a percent royalty. I would also mention that we're going to be auctioning off that half a percent royalty um, with a minimum uh, buy amount of $22.5 million. So we will make at least $5 million on the spread, and we're hoping we can make quite a bit more. Um, so up next for Sina is going to be continued drilling. And uh, when you're taking an underground mine and turning it into an open pit, there's a lot of infill drilling you have to do. There's a lot of selective sampling for one high grade horizon historically. So the last two and a half years has really been infill drilling. So we've really just scratched the surface of exploration drilling. And the last year worth of drilling is not currently included in our feasibility study. So we're busy drilling right now. We'll put out an updated resource um, in the first half of next year and then an updated feasibility study in the second half of next year. We've got some permitting milestones that we're going to hit towards the end of this year and into next year. Our impact benefits agreement with our Tall Tan First Nations partners. We'll announce our project financing in the first, um, probably first to second quarter of next year. So uh, a very exciting 18 months ahead for Skeena for sure. Absolutely. We'll definitely have to have you back um, to hear some updates. So Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me.